Hello everyone uh, and thank you for giving support for more channels. So in the last part we have covered uh, how session object is useful and uh, how the data can be retrieved from the session object so that we don't require every time database application. So it acts as a temporary storage area. Now we are going to implement in our project right now. So uh, before going for that, like we have to know completely like what is the actual use of it and how we are gonna use that HTTP session in our application. Now you can see here, uh, worker is the person who creates the food order, right? So we have to check out what is the relationship between the worker and the food order. The worker will be creating the food order and the food order, okay contains the list of food items means there is a relationship between worker as one too many as well as food adder has one too many relationship here you can see here food order is having relationship with worker as well as it is having relationship with food item so food order has list of food items and here we are using one of the most powerful attribute that is cascade the use of cascade you have already seen in the previous videos so whenever we use this cascade attribute in this food order which is the parent entity at the time whenever we save the food order it will save the child entities also we don't need to persist it separately we require food order and food item before that first we have to check out uh, what are the things are required so in the previous video i have showed you whenever the user clicks on create order right whenever the worker clicks on create order it should display these food items on the console screen on the screen right so we have to provide the functionality for this url that is create order so we have to provide the functionality inside the food order controller so we'll create one url here create order So inside the food order controller we have to provide the functionality let us create a food order controller yes. Food order controller class is created. This is the class which controls all the user requests. So to represent this class as controller, we are going to use controller annotation. And to handle the requests, we use request mapping annotation. will be providing functionality for create order url copy this url and paste it here public model and view instead of typing each and every line you can copy paste from the other controller class now we'll be editing this method which we can copy and replace the method name uh, once look at this image so whenever the user uh, sorry worker clear clicks on the create order it will opening these all these food items 
Now in that case, what we are doing, we are we have to display all these things using one JSP file, and at the same time, we have to retrieve all the products which are present inside the database application. So we require a product DAO IMPL object. So we will be requesting for the DAO object of product. Good product. Auto wired. Good product. DAO IMPL. Array list of word product products equals to product DAO dot get all products. All products. And we are sending these products. We're replacing at this position and here we showing display for items so now our task is to create display food items JSP file so let's create a food items display food items JSP file Display for the items JSP. Is it present already? Yeah, it is already present. Already it is present, just we need to edit this. So here uh, we are gonna use Storage loop display for item JSP file is already present, cart rating is already present. Just we need to edit the details. So I want to display the, some of the things like so here in order to display all the food items, we have to add some imports. So the first import uh, to, to get the C for each loop that belongs to standard tag library means uh, JSTL is provided by JSTL. So I'll be going to my GitHub account. There you can see supporting file. In supporting file you have to go for JSTL and form tag and you can copy this uh, C import copy and paste over here after pasting this the import now we can use here C for each loop so we just replace this control X control V And uh, once we have to check uh, what are the things are present in food product so that we can write according to the food name description cost of food type. Food name description cost of food type is displayed. So here, description. Uh, 
will be the same cost. Right. And just an empty space. It should be empty. And here, how many are there? Total of six. So here also we require six things. Already three are present. Now three. Right. So here uh, I will tell you what we have to do. Here we are gonna get all the food products. For that we use items attribute. So for this items attribute, which which uh, which holds the collection of data so inside the food product controller sorry uh, inside the food order controller we have provided one value attribute value copy this value and we have to paste here not just like this uh, so we have to use expression language to paste here and to access the value one by one we have to use var attribute that is product and here we have to use expression language product dot id product dot word name product dot description product dot cost product dot food type and here the last one so let it be add URL and here ID instead of burger we are using expression language here product dot ID as usual our task is almost done so let us save this Uh, our display food items is ready and as well as cart also is ready uh, the food order controller right. so our first task is successfully completed like the as it is the thing is provided so whenever worker clicks on the create order it will be displaying all the items like this in the same format Okay, like uh, let us check once. So now let us check the how, how it goes. Like, uh, one touch. Kiran Kiran six at the rate gmail dot com Kiran forty six I provided details wrong. So it's working in valid credentials. Kiran six at the rate gmail. Kiran forty six at the rate. Okay. Now we have provided the functionality for this create order now we'll click on this create order right everything is very clear here you can see all the products which are displayed on the screen so now our next task we have to move to the next one so now whenever user clicks on add okay the product should be added and we have to get some notification as well 
So for that we have learned in the previously like how to utilize session object so you you will be doing online shopping in amazon or flipkart whenever you go to that uh, uh, like uh, uh, this screen is visible on the screen now now we have to provide functionality for the add button so whenever we click on this add button it will be uh, selecting the burger whenever the worker clicks on the second row button it will be selecting the pizza so it has to display right uh, and also here small changes small changes are there first thing uh, these uh, food product okay these food products are displayed and at the same time so whenever we click on add button instead of adding so we have to ask for how much quantity does required by the customer so we have to display one page whenever a worker clicks on add button it has to display asking for the quantity that number of burgers are required by the customer So now we are successful in displaying all the food items that are required to create an order for the customer so our next task okay we have to provide the functionality for this add button but before that you have to think about the uh, how these products will be added and uh, how they are processed how the data is processed so they were going for that first you have to notice the uh, there is a relationship between the entities so worker is creating order for for whom customer right so he is being creating a food order which contains list of food items hence we have to define the food order entity as well as food item entity so these are the two entities which are uh, required for the processing data so now we are going to create uh, two entity classes those are food order and uh, food item uh, we have done this thing already also like uh, when we are doing hibernate entity relationships so we did at uh, that time only now you can easily copy and paste from that project so let us create dto classes create food order video food order dto at the rate entity at the rate entity you can copy from the previous hibernate application that we have done as uh, to understand the relationships good order so here we don't need to use mapper by uh, we can simply copy all these things copy copy and paste so you have to notice one thing at here we are getting errors in inputs remove these inputs and uh, And remove this mapper by also. We use cascade, and here you can see there there is a relationship between food order and the worker. And uh, so first we'll resolve the relationship with worker. So we mentioned many to one, and uh, there inside the worker class, worker DTO class go to the worker DDO and here you will be mentioning one too many inside the worker class at the rate one too many and use mapped by provide the string private list import from java.util worker 
workers <coughs> and provide the name here copy this value and for provide it here save the class save the worker class close that and here uh, is providing an error right uh, and generate getters and setters food item we have to create food item create a class food item dto the dto package and at the rate entity you don't need to type each and everything one by one again you can take from the previous example that we have done so copy up to here only copy this and close that class don't require let's see alt as generate getters and setters save all the details are clearly mentioned Right. Here uh, in food item, it's totally independent class. We did not mention any kind of relationship here. Inside the food order, we mentioned uh, already one too many with food items. So when we use cascade, the power of cascade, whenever we save this food order object, it will automatically persist the related child entities. We don't need to persist it separately. So if we save one particular object that is food order, it will save automatically the related entity data. And uh, right. so now we are gonna use this food item object. How we are gonna use this food item object? So now uh, food order uh, entity is defined and food item item also it is defined so, so now uh, we'll create a DOI MPL class food order DOI MPL to so represent this as a database layer we use repository annotation and will be persisting so we can copy it from the another DAO AMPL all these things all the methods copy and paste just add it one by one save order Put order import this the, you are getting some errors import and simply mention order 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 get Can simply mention customer or worker. Order. This is apostrophe yes. Order is saved. Ravi's order is like that. We can say. And here. 
Apple order. Copy this and paste here. Order. So as it is, you copy this, paste here. Orders. So just bring it to so done. Our Diego IMP at class is also ready and remove unused imports. Save this class and you can remove it also. So our uh, food order, food item, and Diego IMP at class is ready. So our next task. This is this is for the for the order entity clearly you can see now uh, right inside the for the order we we provide a functionality for the create order our next task is to provide the functionality for uh, add so whenever user clicks on add button it will be invoking add url means we have to provide functionality for this add url so let uh, already we have food item controller uh, now we cannot use this so let us change something as add product instead of add url we'll provide add product or I uh, will name it as add item we named it as add item URL uh, add item URL name is add item go to the food item controller class the controller class you can copy one method I'm copying this and I will be pasting inside this controller so here the URL name is add item add item okay now whenever whenever the worker clicks on add button immediately the idea of that particular product will be will be forwarded with this variable that id to this url wherever it is located to retrieve that value we are using one annotation that is request param request param int id so with the help of that id we are going to retrieve that particular product from the database application code product product equals now we require a product from the product dev impl class so we use auto void to get the DAO object for product DAO MPL product DAO product DAO dot get product. Now we are retrieving that particular product, whatever the product is required by the customer for the order. 
so we'll be retrieving all the entire product data and it will be converted into food item because food item or entity is related to food order now we'll be creating food item object food item food item item equals to your know, food item item dot set id uh, id is the same id which is uh, selected that id will be given for this food item for some time okay and then item dot set item name product dot get food name from the product we are retrieving the name of a food item item dot set price so price of the product product dot get cost so these are the things we are retrieving from the product and storing inside the food item object now we are sending this food item project to display to the customer using a model and view now here the item so we'll create one jsp file that is quantity 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 jsp file <coughs> So now we have to create one quantity JSP file in order to display the food item details to the customer. Now we'll be creating quantity JSP file. Let us create quantity JSP file. Make sure you are creating JSP files inside this web app folder. Quantity use lowercase letters quantity jsp file so we have to use the import for mdc form use this form import and so now form form i have to use So we are, we are connecting object that is food item object to connect the item object we are using modal attribute and there we provided the item object using this attribute value that is item provide here for form input R equals to food uh, sorry in item uh, what is the name we have provided that, that one only we have to provide item name price uh, total cost cannot be mentioned now later we can think about it so we'll be providing ID item name and price item name id form code id straight tag Price. Sorry, you can leave it as price. Price only it is right. Price. And our next task to
submit button. Save the file. We have provided all these things along with this we have to ask for the quantity so how many number of food items we require so provide quantity form input it is quantity it is break time and uh, we cannot change the id so is read only copy and paste and everything so we cannot edit that details save <coughs> up to here it is completed So when it will be displayed, this quantity is ASP file. Whenever, whenever uh, the worker clicks on the add button, that particular product, okay, that particular product will be selected, and product will be selected, and that product details will be transferred to the, to the new object that is food item that food item object will be connected inside the quantity JSP file in order in order to collect the quantity how much quantity does the customer require so let us check uh, whether it will work or not we got some errors Satisfied to product BI. Got some errors. Auto work for a DAO. It is mentioned as a mapper to pay. Mapper to pay reference an unknown target entity property is mentioned for the workers. So sometimes you cannot easily understand where the problem occurs. So go to the worker class yeah so by mistake we provided worker entity is connected with workers only here we have to provide a food order orders let us check now on create order now i am going to select the burger okay. the cost is 35 and the id number is one so now i'll click on add so we are successful in displaying this 
so i cannot edit id i cannot edit the food item i cannot edit the price as well so here i can provide only the number of quantity so here we have to provide the quantity so that will be asked <laughs> so we are successfully in providing all these things now our next task is to save this uh, food item object inside the HTTP session object now we are gonna implement that thing you have learned in previous video so now we have to provide functionality for this submit whenever we click on submit these details should be go and saved inside the session object so you have to understand the execution flow so now I'll show you execution flow once look at here <coughs> whenever <coughs> the worker <coughs> clicks on the add button it will be asking for this quantity so the worker will be providing the quantity after clicking on submit so it will be displaying all the food items again but internally what is happening it uh, the details which are provided for the food item object it will be saved inside the session object which acts as a temporary storage area so there is the execution flow directly like this after clicking on the submit it will be opening the display food items jsp again but in between <coughs> the item which is selected is stored inside the session object so now we have to include this session object uh, between these two JSP files. <coughs> so now we are providing functionality for the submit button. So let us see from there you have to start the flow again <coughs> so whenever user clicks on submit okay the all the details which are collected inside the food item object is gonna save inside the http session object and i want to make it very safe transaction so for that i will make the method as post <coughs> post method type and uh, here action attribute save order sorry we should not save order now itself to order we are not saving any order to order we have to keep okay <clears throat> so now we have to provide functionality for this to order copy this <coughs> go to the food item controller and you can see here you can copy this and uh, here <coughs> provide the So here to order <coughs> to order <coughs> so from there we are requesting for the food item object at the rate we use model attribute so model attribute is the attribute uh, annotation which is responsible to collect the entire object and uh, give it to us now uh, it is going for data object item now we are gonna save this item object inside the session so first we have to re request for http session http session session equals to request dot 
So we require a request object. HTTP servlet request. Request dot get session. Inside the session object, we have to save. So we we want to save each and every every food item each and every time. So for that, <coughs> we have to use the technique we have used previously in the previous video. So we use the some code like this, right? So we are going to use this thing. Or very simple, we can write again here. <coughs> First, we are requ requesting for an object which is not present inside the session object. Session dot get attribute which is not present already, we know. So we'll name it as all items. So the uh, with this name there is no object inside the session but we are requesting for it just uh, to play some trick so now if obj equals to equals to null so we are creating a list object a list object of food item <coughs> food item items equals to new of realist so for this items or uh, uh, collection object we are adding the item which is uh, stored inside this variable and then we are uh, we are storing inside the session with the same name session dot set attribute the name which is given all items <coughs> this is done only for the first time else else we have to retrieve the items which is stored inside the session now so i am using collection variable because there is a collection object inside the session equals session dot get attribute so here all items <coughs> and we are down casting to our list for the retrieved collection object we are adding adding the new item which is clicked for the second time so whenever the worker clicks the to order means submit button so the control will come for the first time at the time the control will come to if block first and then if if the same button is clicked for second time the control will come to else block from second time onwards <coughs> again we'll be setting the data inside the session and then i will print item so after adding the items <coughs> now i will use model and view here uh, after clicking uh, selecting selection of that particular item and it is added for the session will display all the products again same way now here we have to retrieve all the food products 
for a list of good products. Products equals to product DAO dot get all products. Copy this here we are using <coughs> display good items JSP. So we are writing all products. What is the value we have to write here? The value which is provided inside the display food items. So we provided this value and copy and paste here. <coughs> so for the two order, we have completed this part. <coughs> now let us just check is there. Reload. Now I'll click on the burger. That is loading the entire application. Wait for a while. <laughs> Now we'll provide the quantity. We'll provide the quantity as to submit. So after submitting, we are getting the same page again. But you can see on the top of the address bar, the URL name is to order. Since one item is collected and stored inside the session. Now whenever we click on the cart button, it should display the burger details, right? And at the same time, I will add one more, one more uh, product. Pizza, I will add. I'll click on pizza, and I will provide two. I'll click on submit. So it is added inside the session object. Now, what is our next task? Our next task, okay. Whenever user clicks on, sorry, worker clicks on the cart button, it should display all the selected items. Okay, it should display all the selected items. Now we have to provide functionality. <coughs> so let us uh, go to the quantity JSP file. Not quantity, we like display for the items JSP file. So here is our uh, cart. So here use the cart as URL copy this now we are providing <coughs> functionality for the cart URL cart url name is cart the method name you change it as cart here the cart we require request object request I know all these things so from the session we have to retrieve the all the food item food item items equals to sorry first we have to request for session object session equals to request dot get session
session dot get attribute here have to provide as all items now <coughs> we have to all display all these items that is uh, right items my items will name it as my items and here i will write cart dot jsp now already we have card dot jsp so we provided all this food items for the card jsp now so go to the card jsp file instead of food items you name it as my items that we have provided there so inside the food items my items provide right here my items yeah. so we have to use for each loop see for each loop the of mvc form this one so. <coughs> good name and cost See for each. So we have to use uh, C definition to display copy and paste it here. And C for each loop. Instead of that, you can copy paste from here also stays copy paste here here you mention it as item and here name is provided as my items right my items sorry it is mentioned as my item only right yeah my items items here item dot id item dot item name item dot Price it up. Price only. But it is mentioned price. And I, I we want quantity also. item dot quantity save everything is done successfully so now i'll just reload it's loading now now I'll click on the cart. As you can see, pizza is selected with quantity of two. And now I will be adding pasta. Two. Right. So pasta is added. Now I'll click on the cart. You can see pizza and pasta is reflected. 
along with ID numbers. So the remaining thing will continue in the next video. Thank you for watching everyone.